Many people are wondering how come Hashem ruling and judging the world is in so and so ways. How come a person which is wicked, it seems he's got a big success. And on the other side, a righteous guy, it's like he's got an affliction. What's going on here? The source of all of the problems is faith. That's why our Holy Torah said to us in Parashat Ha'azinu, Hatsur tamim pa'alo ki chod rachav mishpat el emuna ve'en avel tzadik ve'asharu. The rock, perfect is his work, for all his paths are justice, a God of faith without iniquity, righteous and fair he is. Rav Steinman Zichon Levracha explained that there is a basic concept in Judaism that the value of a good deed is evaluate according how much the person who did the deed evaluate the deed itself. And Rav Shach asked many years ago, Zichon Levracha, we know that the person who steals an axe and caught with the axe, he needs to pay a fine of five extra axes, cattle, right? But the person who stole a sheep need to pay only four extra. And Rav Shach asks the Holy Levracha, if the Holy Torah have mercy on the thief that his honor got blamished, so to say, while he was stealing, when he was carrying the sheep on his shoulder, why the Holy Torah doesn't erase all the debt already? Why only one ship, right? But we know that the honor of a Jew, the value of a Jew, is way greater than one ship. Hundred ships, thousands, billions, I don't know. But when the person stole the ship, he showed and proved that in his own eyes, his honor is not worth even one ship. He decided the value of his own self. He proved unfaithfulness and disbelief in Hashem. That's why he stole. The problem we also could be not really believing in Hashem fully. We don't see the whole pictures. And we're going to bring a story. The Evan Ezra, Zichon Levrach, had a court case. Two guys came to him. They were walking on the way. They sat down to eat. One of them had two loaves of bread. The other one had three loaves of bread. Another person came very hungry, and they said, come and eat with us. So they divided equally between them all the bread. After they ate and separate, the person gave them five gold coins. Right now, the guy who gave two said, I gave all, of the, all and everything I got. I need to get half. And the guy who gave three said, no, I gave more than you. I need to get three golden coins. The Evan Isra thought for a second, and he answered, the one who gave two loaves, gonna get only one gold coin. And on the other side, the one who gave three loaves, gonna get four gold coins. Everybody got shocked, screaming. The crowd said, what's going on with the rabbi? How can it be? And the rabbi very relaxed explained, after he calmed everybody down, there were total of five loaves to three people divided total of 15 slices the guy who gave two loaves or had two loaves took five pieces to himself and he had one extra that he gave he should get one coin the guy who had three loaves ate five right and he gave four he need to get four gold coins makes sense right unbelievable and if right now in a trial of blood, flesh and blood, a judge himself here, Din Torah, we still don't understand. For sure we cannot understand the judgment of Hashem, which is a God of faith without iniquity. We just need to believe. We need to evaluate the greatness of Hashem. We need to evaluate our own actions in the Holy Torah with true faith and believe this is the right thing to do even if it seems that right now it's not getting us a reward as it's we think because Hashem ran the world is righteous and fair no questions have a beautiful Shabbat believe in Hashem follow Hashem spread the words of Hashem Nachat Ruach Klal Yisrael